Explore fractions and decimals. A fraction shows part of a whole. A decimal also shows part of a whole. A decimal is a number that uses place value, numbers, and a decimal point to show part of a whole. Model four tenths using grids. First, use a tenths grid. Shade four of the ten parts to show four tenths. Next, use a hundredths grid. Shade forty of the one hundred parts to show forty hundredths. Now compare. Compare the grids. The same amount is shaded in both grids. Now write the fraction for each section. The fraction for the tenths model is four tenths. The fraction for the hundredths model is forty hundredths. Finally, write decimals. How is four tenths written as a decimal? We write four tenths as zero point four. How is forty hundredths written as a decimal? We write forty hundredths as zero point forty. All right, today we're working on lesson four and five of your math packet. Lesson four is modeling decimals and fractions, and then lesson five is working with fractions and decimals again in a different way. So let's go ahead and jump in with lesson four. You can write a decimal as a fraction. Both a decimal and a fraction show parts of a whole. So we're talking about how fractions and decimals are written in the same form and how they are similar. So draw it. Write four tenths as a fraction with a denominator of four. So remember this four is in the tenths place, so we read it as four tenths. So write the decimal in the place values chart. 0 0.4 means four tenths, so we have zero holes and four tenths. Shade the grid to represent four tenths. So our, grade is, our grid is already divided into ten, and we need to color in four of the tenths. Write it as a fraction. Well, our denominator is how many pieces there are total, and there are 10 pieces total, and they wrote that for us. And then the numerator is how many pieces we colored in. So we should have a four written as the numerator. So think of 0.4 as 4 tenths, or 4 tenths as a fraction. Even when you say it, 4 tenths, you can already tell what the fraction is going to be. 4 tenths, 4 out of 10. Check. The number line shows that 0.4 is 4 out of 10, or 4 tenths. So they colored it right here. 4 parts out of 10 equal parts. So on our number line, we have 0 and 1, and we cut it up into 10 equal parts. And we put a dot on 4 tenths because it shows 4 parts out of 10 equal parts. Jump down here to try it. We have, right, 40, 45 hundredths, because this is in our hundredths place, is a fraction of the denominator of 100. Use a number line. So they have our number line, and they have it broken up into 10 hundredths, 20 hundredths, 30 hundredths, 40 hundredths, and they show where 45 hundredths would be. And then what it would look like as a fraction, even when you say 45 hundredths, you know that your fraction is going to be 45 hundredths. So 0.45 can be written as 45 out of 100. Practice it. Write each decimal as a fraction with a denominator of 10. Shade the grid. So 0.2 or 2 tenths. We have our grid, let's do our, our coloring first. All right, so we have our grid shape, cut, cut into 10 pieces and we need to color in two of them because we have two tenths. Now we need to write it in a fraction. Well, our denominator for all of these is gonna be 10 and our numerator is how many pieces we colored in. So for this, it is two. For this one, we're coloring seven pieces in 
our denominator is 10 and our numerator is how many pieces we colored in, so it should be seven, seven tenths. This is seven tenths, this is seven tenths, they are equal. Or 0.7 and 7 tenths are equal. There are a couple different ways you could read that. 0.3 or 3 tenths, it's in the tenths place, so our denominator is going to be 10. And our numerator is 3. And when we color it in, we color in 3. So you decide if you want to do the fraction first and then the coloring, or the coloring first and then the fraction, it is up to you. Number 8, 5 tenths. Well, even when you say five tenths, you know what your fraction is going to look like. Five tenths. All right. Our five is in the tenths place, so it's five equal parts of ten. And now we need to color in five tenths. Number nine, six tenths or point six. We have our ten on the bottom and our six as the numerator and we'll color in six pieces. One tenth or point one, we're gonna color in one of our tenths. Now our denominator tells us how many pieces there are total, which is 10, and our numerator tells us how many we've colored in, which is one. Fraction and decimal equivalents. Nicole and Austin's family is taking a trip. Nicole says that the odometer or mileage tracker shows they have driven five tenths mile. Austin says one half mile. Can they both be correct? Determine whether five tenths and one half are equivalent. We can use tenths and hundredths grids to model five tenths and one half. This model shows that 5 tenths is equal to 5 out of 10, which equals 1 half. This model shows that 50 hundredths equals 50 out of 100, which is equal to 1 half. We can also use number lines to show that 5 tenths and 1 half name the same amount. 5 tenths and 1 half are located in the same position on the number lines. So 5 tenths and 1 half are equivalent. All right, lesson five is very, very, very similar to lesson four. So we're gonna jump right in. Decimals and fractions can show equivalent amounts, which means they can show same amounts. Equivalent means same. You can write equivalent fractions and you can also write fractions as decimals. So this is just like what we did in lesson four. We're just thinking about it a little bit different. Example one. Kara travels 7 tenths mile from her bus stop to the next stop. Write 7 tenths as a fraction with a denominator of 100, then write the fraction as a decimal. So use a model to show 7 tenths. So step one, write 7 tenths as a fraction with a denominator of 100. So say, shade 7 tenths of the tens grid. So we're going to color in 7. All right, on the hundredths grid, shade squares so that the same fraction of the grid is shaded. Remember, in our hundredths grid, each column is a 10. So we're just gonna color seven tens again. How many squares did you shade on the hundredth grid? Well, if you count by tens, you have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So we colored in 70. The decimal model shows that 7 tenths is equivalent to 70 one hundredths. All right, they're the same amount colored in, except here we colored in 70 one hundredths, and here we colored in 7 tenths. Step two, write the fraction as a decimal. Think of 7 tenths as 7 tenths, so 7 tenths equals point seven because we need a seven in the tens place. So seven tenths can be written as seventy one hundredths and point seven. Let's jump down to example two. 
turn my marker on. Write 9 tenths as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100 and as a decimal. Use a model to show 9 tenths. So step one, write 9 tenths as a fraction with a denominator of 100. The first thing we need to do is color in 9 tenths. All right. On the hundredth grid, shade squares so that the same fraction on the, on the two grids is shaded. So again, each column is like one tenth, and I need to color nine tenths. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many squares did you shade on the hundredth grid, which is this one down here because it's cut into a hundred pieces? We'll skip count by ten. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. The decimal model shows that 9 tenths is equivalent to 90 one hundredth. We have the same amount colored in on both, except one is cut into tenths, the other is cut into one hundredths. Write the fraction as a decimal. Think of 9 tenths as 9 tenths. So 9 tenths you need to have, if you have your place value chart, you have your ones and then that decimal and then your tenths. So you'd have no holes and you'd have a nine in the tenths place. So nine tenths can be written as 90 one hundredths and point nine. Notice that 90 hundredths or 0 0.90 is the same as 9 tenths. Because when you read this, you don't say 90, you don't say 9 0 tenths. You don't say the zero. So you would say 9 tenths. 90 one hundredths and 9 tenths are the same thing. Guided practice. Write each fraction as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100. Then write the fraction as a decimal. So if you have 1 tenth and you need to make it with a decimal of 100, what did you do to get from 10 to 100? You multiplied by 10. So you need to multiply the top by 10. 1 times 10 is 10. Any number multiplied by itself is that same number. So your fraction would be 10 over 100 or 10 one hundredths. So your decimal, we have zero holes and then we have 10 one hundredths. For number two, you can draw a model or you can think of it as I need a one hundredth on the bottom. Well, how did I get from 10 to 100? I multiplied by 10. So I need to multiply my five by 10 10 times 5, you can skip count, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So you would get 50 one hundredths. And if you wrote that as a decimal, you would have 0 0.50 or just 0.5. Remember, it's the same thing. Down in independent practice, go ahead and give, and give this a shot and I will post the answer key for it on Canvas. And then you have one quick page of homework for today. It's super, super short, it's only one question and I will post the answer key for that on tomorrow's homework. All right, if you need help with anything, please reach out on Canvas. You can send me a message or you can reach me on Dojo. Have mom and dad send me a message on Dojo if you need any help, all right? Good luck on your independent practice. Check your work with your answer key and then good luck on your homework and I will talk to you tomorrow.